I would like to draw the attention of the students belonging to honors third year of Government Rajendra College. Yet another online session or a sort of virtual session is going to be held. You are being asked to pay undivided attention so that you can grasp the content of the session. Today, I would like to deliberate on Francis Bacon. It cannot be termed as an exhaustive lecture. Rather, I am going to focus on two important essays penned by Francis Bacon. I would like to utter a few words regarding Francis Bacon. If you go through different essays by Francis Bacon, you will notice that he is a sort of pragmatic essayist and there are some predominant features, there are some salient features of his write-ups. His essays are epigrammatic, proverbial, pithy, and full of meanings. So if you take a serious look at several essays by Francis Bacon, you will notice that he has dealt with a multitude of issues which we come across in our everyday life. We are surrounded by numerous incidences and in the course of our, in the course of our daily life, we come across numerous phenomena which did not escape the notice of Francis Bacon and as a conscious writer, as a conscious essayist, he has endeavored to delineate different phenomena in a skillful way to a large extent. So, shift your focus on the essay entitled of Revenge. And later on, I will deal with of great place. It cannot be termed as complete lecture Rather, you are going to have some ideas and views as regards these two important essays by Francis Bacon. First of all, you will have to focus your attention or concentrate your attention on the essay of revenge. According to Bacon, revenge is a kind of wild justice. He has advocated his view not in favor of revenge, Rather, he has advocated pardon or forgiveness. So, it is noticed that revenge tries to replace rule of law. Rule of law is ignored when revenge is taken by an individual. That is, that can be called something like, something like taking laws into and, and to deal with the criminals as per somebody's sweet will. So such type of activity like taking revenge has been discouraged by Francis Bacon. If a person takes revenge, two types of wrongs are committed by that person. On the one hand, he offends the law and puts the law in, uh, but on the other hand, he puts the law out of office. That is, law is greatly ignored by the individual who take laws into hand and carelessly delivers such a type of justice. So, sometimes it is noticed that when a person does not get any legal, legal remedy, he becomes prompted to take revenge. But Francis Bacon has not expressed his view in favor of taking revenge, rather he is opposed to the idea of taking revenge. According to Francis Bacon, 
pardoning or forgiving is superior to taking revenge. So, from this essay, I think that you have been able to understand some of the characteristics of revenge and Francis Bacon's opinion regarding taking revenge. Now, I would like to switch over to yet another essay written by Francis Bacon, and the title of that essay is Of Great Place. Of great place, that is of great position. In our society, in, in most of the societies of the world, we notice stratified society. We notice social stratification. Those who hold high position sometimes behaves in a way which have been closely monitored or closely observed by Francis Bacon as a conscientious individual or as a conscious individual. He has noticed the phenomenon. He has noticed several phenomena which is come across by Francis Bacon. So by going through the essay entitled of Great Place, I think that the readers will be able to understand multifarious dimensions or different facets of, of Great Place. So, sometimes a great desire, sometimes in an individual we can notice a great desire to seek power and whenever a person is in such a position, he loses liberty over oneself. So according to Bacon, he has pinpointed a very significant issue. A person's desire can be noticed in terms of seeking power, but having occupied that position, sometimes an individual may become arrogant, sometimes he doesn't find peace of mind and he is not able to enjoy liberty. The consequence of downfall from high place is tragic and miserable. Yet another noticeable aspect of this essay is that a person may reach a high position or, or a high place, but when he falls from that position, it becomes totally unbearable and life becomes miserable for him to live. So it is to be noticed that a person is not able to hold high position forever or sometimes for a longer period of time. So the sense of deprivation becomes very much operative or very much active in the individual who loses high position and life becomes miserable to such an individual. It is to be noticed carefully. And the faults and weaknesses of such an individual can be discovered by others, but a sort of blind attitude, a sort of apathetic attitude, a sort of nonchalant attitude regarding the interest of others can be noticed sometimes in some people holding high positions. So his own follies and absurdities, his own peculiarities, weaknesses, sometimes corrupt practices are utterly overlooked by an individual holding a high position. Francis Bacon has taken notice of this phenomena. And another important phenomena, phenomenon is that death falls heavy. So other people of the society notices the death of a person holding in a higher position in the society or upper echelon of the society, but it is a sort of heavy experience, a, it falls heavily on him. 
the vices of authority are mainly four. It is to be taken notice of in this regard. Bacon, Francis Bacon has pinpointed some of the adverse impacts or some of the vices of authority, that is vices of a person who holds high position, sometimes it may be noticed uh, some of the negative aspects such as corruption, roughness, flattery. Uh, these are some of the things I have mentioned three points, uh, corruption, roughness, and uh, flattery due to flattery uh, he may be he may sometimes um, be upset and delay delay is yet another negative phenomenon so in terms of dealing with our colleagues francis bacon has provided a piece of advice to those individuals who hold high position in the society according to bacon such a person should respect colleagues and they should have consultation with their colleagues and take opinion of others when necessary. So from such an uh, such expression we can easily understand we can easily understand that Francis Bacon is not in favor of a person who is opinionated, who cares a fig to the opinion of others. He is in favor of taking opinions from other individuals and he is in favor of solving the issues in, a, in an amiable and amicable way and any sort of harsh or arrogant decision or haughty decision may be catastrophic. Uh, so from these two essays by Francis Bacon, I think that you have been able to understand the underlying significance of these two essays. You yourselves are being asked to read the essays carefully, not only these two, but also all the essays in your syllabus by Francis Bacon, so that you can have a good grasp of the underlying significance and you can have a clear understanding as regards the content and the substance or the real purport of these essays with these few words. I would like to wrap up today's session. Thank you very much.